Canets are generally falling into disrepair and ruin today in Iran, thanks to the electricity and the uh, a water pump. But they were central to agriculture in the early days. Although uh, kanat is an Arabian word, uh, the concept of irrigation using underground tunnels has many names and keraz is another common term. There's quite a few other terms and uh, searches on the internet bring up results for all of them. A kanat comes from the Arab word, also known as a keraz from Persian. It's a water management system used to provide a reliable supply of water to human settlements for irrigation in hot, arid climates. Technology actually developed in central Iran, um, the ancient Persia of uh, previous eras, and spread to other cultures, particularly along the Silk Road as far east as China and into the Arabic cultures of Morocco and the Iberian Peninsula. Canats are tunnels that begin in the foothills of mountains and wind gradually downhill to bring water to settlements. They're hand dug, so vertical shafts were placed every 20 to 30 meters along the length of the tunnel. These uh, vertical shafts were used to uh, excavate the sand from the tunnel and to uh, service the tunnel. The uh, soil that was bought up was usually uh, placed in large mounds around the shaft openings to uh, provide protection from surface runoff. Quite often, uh, the uh, uh, tunnels were reinforced with uh, burnt clay rings to stop cave-ins. There are still canats in use, but uh, in many cases, they've fallen into disrepair and have collapsed. Another diagram off the web showing the structure of a typical canat. It's important that the uh, slope of the tunnel not be too steep, otherwise the, um, the fast-flowing water will uh, collapse or destroy the tunnel. If it's not steep enough, of course, the water will not flow. So it was quite an art to build a, a canat. In this diagram, you can see the uh, vertical uh, shafts being used to remove materials. Notice the mounds or ring of soil to protect the uh, open shafts. Showing the windlass that was used to bring up the earthen uh, uh, leather bags filled with sand when excavating the tunnel. Canat technology was popular whenever there were uh, no large rivers to provide water. Uh, there was fertile soil that needed irrigation, and it was relatively close to the mountain ranges that possessed the water. And it was a very hot, dry climate with huge evaporation, so it wasn't possible to construct canals. Although the uh, technology actually was invented and first developed in Persia or Iran, it rapidly spread along the Silk Route throughout the Mediterranean area and the Far East. 
in Kirpan, China, there's a, a very large Karaz or Kanat. And uh, they've actually got a museum advertising how it all works. This is one of their uh, plaques. Canats used with wind towers provide cooling as well as water supply. The ones I saw had large vertical chimneys that would catch the air, uh, would uh, catch the hot dry breeze and uh, bring up uh, cool air from the underground tunnel. Actually getting inside one of these chimneys uh, uh, without access to a, a very cool and comfortable area, even on an extremely hot day. The temperature was sometimes 15 degrees below the um, outside temperature. A chimney-like structure that covers the entrance of a shaft to a canal. There's not a lot to see in a canat because the tunnels are very small and underground. But we'll take a look at some of the ones in Kirpan, China. The uh, largest and oldest canat in Iran is Ghanabad which uh, still works after uh, 2,700 years and provides water for 40,000 people. Its main well depth is 360 meters and it extends over 45 kilometers. Yaz and Kerman are also areas in Iran that uses uh, extensive systems of canal. Generally, they're extremely small, requiring a very small person to uh, clamber through them. They're not really as large as this. According to Wikipedia, about four-fifths of the water used in the plateau regions of Iran were uh, transported by canats. However, because there's less agriculture uh, in Iran, uh, the canats now are not really being constructed or maintained. It's a lot easier simply to put in a vertical well and run an electric pump for irrigation. Consequently, they're falling out of use. Thanks for joining me, dear viewer, on this tour of Kanat in Iran. I do hope you have a pleasant day.